Hello everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and we have a craft with me video today. I love these videos. I love to get the chance to chat with you on my messy craft desk with everything pulled out. <laughs> But we're going to craft today. Um, I need to put away this journal. I'm working on this for Cheryl Bowman. It I've just bound it. I still have the decorating to do and the inking and stuff. But it is a swap journal. Um, I do Amazon swaps. I have an Amazon or scrapbook.com wish list that you can request and send me something off of that. I'll make you a journal. And anyway, I'm working on this one for Cheryl. She was so sweet to send me some items I was wanting and I'm creating her a journal. That's not what we're working on today though. We have been for with our craft with me videos, we've been working on trying to use up an entire book and seeing how many things we can come up with with that. And uh, we've been using the Time Life Book of Annuals from 1971. We've done a bunch of projects already. And today I want to use some of these really pretty images that I've been hoarding, really pretty illustrations from 1971 of these flowers. And we're going to make some journal cards, just super simple journal cards. And I printed off two pages of journal card bases. Um, these I created back up and I'll explain really quickly. So the website Creative Fabrica, I've been promoting them for a while. They asked me to help them launch their new page called Creative Fabrica Fans. If you're familiar with Patreon, it's similar to that, but it's only craft related. So you don't get lost in all of the different things going on with Patreon. It's just for crafters and you can follow and support your favorite crafters. So they asked me if I would do a page for them and help them out. And um, I said I'd give it a try. So I have a page over there. Uh, you can, I'll put the link in the description box below. And what's different about this page, if you become my fan, uh, so these are for like my true fans, there's a, there's a monthly fee and you'll see that. I don't expect anybody to do it. It's just if you want to, I appreciate the support. And then I give exclusive tips and goodies. And so what is different about this page versus, say, my Facebook group, it's not public, it's exclusive. Um, and I go more into the details of how to do things. Um, so it's not just, oh, here's a digital, figure out how to use it. It's, I created this. This is how I created it. This is how you can use it. There's exclusive downloads, exclusive tips, exclusive things that you'll get freebies um, where other people would have to pay for things, stuff like that. And you can check it out if you want to. And if you're not ready to join, but you think it's a cool idea, then maybe just bookmark the site and come back to it in a few weeks or a couple months and see if, you know, it would be a better fit then. Anyway, enough said. I hope you'll just at least check it out. I would appreciate it a lot. I'd like to help it be a success and I'd, you know, like to grow my fan base for sure. So I created these journal card bases and they are... Uh, public domain image. This is a vintage end paper that I found from a children's book. And it's just a soft neutral floral. And I added just a little lace border. That's all that I did. I also have an example over on Creative Fabric of Fans of how you can use these um, easily digitally. But you can also make something physical out of them. It's great to have a journal card base. So we're going to cut these up and I'm going to show you how you can use things like this. I'm going to do, I already have at least two posts like this over there where you get kind of a base or I show you how you can build upon something. So that's what we're going to work on today is just crafting with these and using up a book. It's nice to have a base sometimes because if you just start with a rectangle of cardstock, you actually have to come up with the background. This already has a start. I like keeping things simple. Sometimes the more simple and the more neutral they are, the more we use them. At least I find that to be true. So let's we will cut these up and make some beautiful, beautiful journal cards. I am excited. And we're going to keep it super simple. Um, I love tutorials where there's lots of steps 
but sometimes all I need is just an idea. I just need a jolt of inspiration. I don't need um, a 50 minute long video with 10 steps. There's times when I do want that because I want to learn new tips, tricks, techniques, and improve myself. But there's times I just don't have the energy for that. And I want to do something simple that I can do in just a few minutes. And that is what this is. You really only need paper. And then you would download this from Creative Fabric of Fans. You can use it as many times as you want. You can um, sell the things you make with it. You could even alter it digitally and sell those digitals. I am fine with that because it is a public domain background. Okay, so these are the cards. We're just gonna start with six um, cards here. And then I am just going to look for these little tall images here, like this um, cup flower. This is a cup flower. And I'm gonna cut it out of the book here. And going to trim it out. Still have this cold. It's just that time of year here. Oh, let's see. What do I want for ink? I think I'm going to use this color box sandstone. I think I got this at Tuesday morning a while ago and I'm trying to use this up. I'm definitely getting there. Look at how worn that pad is. There's not as much ink left in it anymore. But I'm just going to add some ink and I'm just going to glue it in the center. That is all I'm going to do. You could layer up more things if you want to, but the way that I see it, you have a beautiful base. You don't have to glue lace on. You don't have to do anything like that. All you have to do is glue on an image. I'm going to use my art glitter glue that I have been loving. Can't believe I waited this long to try it. I'm just going to glue that down in the middle. And then I'm going to ink around the journal card to make it look completed. Look at how amazing that is. I mean, it looks like a really nice, completed, detailed journal card. And all I did was cut out the journal card base and then glue on an image. So if you have a book, cut out images, glue it on. Of course, you could cut out um, other digitals. You could use ephemera from like a Tim Holtz ephemera pack. There's so many different things that you could do. All right, so I'm going to use this fountain grass next. I'm just slightly trimming off the black line. I could leave it. I just would rather ink it with the brown ink. I think I can probably keep this piece and we'll make something with that later. So it's not a lot of steps. It's not very difficult. But in a very short amount of time, you can have a whole stack of cards ready to go in your different journals. And the background is so neutral that you can make them in so many different themes. Look at how pretty. I'm even surprised at how pretty they came out. I mean, I knew they would be pretty, but I didn't think they would look so soft and sweet. Okay, I'm going to find another one. I'm looking for the tall, thin ones first, so that one's probably too wide. Let me see if this is a good one. That one's kind of on the big side. Oh, here's some. Here's a good one. I don't want to tear the whole page out because I'm just using some of the flowers.
I always enjoy crafting even when I'm not feeling well and I have a cold, but then I want something simple. You know, I don't want to have to think too much about it. I just want to relax and enjoy it. Look at the pretty flowers, have the joy of putting something together without using too much mental energy. So this is also a great project. Um, if you are watching TV or you're doing something, maybe talking with somebody and visiting with people and you still want to craft and you don't want to have to go sit in your craft room, you can just, you know, even put them in a little bag and take it with you somewhere. It's just a great quick project. Okay, so we're going to have to go back to the beginning of these flowers and see. Wow, there's a lot of them in this book. Oh, here's two. A corn cockle and a cloud grass. Oh, and the hollyhock. It's going to cut part of that off, but can't really help that. It's always difficult when you have beautiful pictures on both sides of the page to choose which one you're going to use. both while I have my ink pad out. You could add stitching if you want to pull out your sewing machine. I really don't want to deal with my sewing machine right now. It is here next to me, but it's an extra step. And like I said, I'm not feeling well, so we're going to keep this simple. Never, never feel bad about keeping a project simple. You don't have to do all of the crazy techniques every time you go to your craft room. You can just spend the afternoon gluing on images. So as I was talking about Creative Fabrica fans earlier, um, I'm going to be adding multiple posts a week. It's not a club like my image clubs or something like that. It's just a way for my fans to support me. Um, this is my job. And I have three kids that I take care of and a husband and a church and family and I'm busy and this helps provide for a lot of our needs. And so it's just another way to bring in some income, but for me also to have a chance to share things with you like this, to come up with things new that are exclusive and different. And I think like this, these journal card bases. Yes, I could sell them in my shop, but they're, they are pretty simplistic. I could share them on my Facebook group and I do share things on my Facebook group, but I enjoy sometimes like just coming up with something unique, something that only my fans get. And I'm not, you know, asking anybody to join if they don't want to. It's just if you feel like it. It, it just helps out a little bit and it helps me to promote Creative Fabrica, which they are such a wonderful site. If you are not familiar with what they offer, check out creativefabrica.com. Um, I will be working even more with them in the future. Some videos coming up. They've been, hired me to create tutorials, so I don't know when that website launches exactly, but I'm really excited about that as well. Look at how pretty. And since um, we still have time and I have the second one and I want to put these journal cards in my shop, I'm going to go ahead and make six more so that we will have a set of 12 to stick in the shop. And now that you know how they are made, uh, you know, you could stop the video now if you wanted to. You could just pop over to my shop to buy the set of 12 if you want to. They'll be in the Lindsay's Handmade section. Um, but if you want to watch me continue to cut and glue and chat, if that is relaxing for you, then I would be so happy to have you stay for another few minutes while I finish this set of journal cards. I can't believe I haven't created more bases even for myself to craft with, because I have so many ideas on how I can use these. I think they would be really fun um, in conjunction with some of my image clubs as well, like 
print out a set of vintage image club illustrations and then cut them out and glue them on top of this. And then also playing in Photoshop or if you're starting out with a little bit of digital design, maybe you don't even ever plan on selling it. You just think it would be cool to maybe make something you could print out and put in your journal. I highly recommend that you check out Be Funky, B-E-F-U-N-K-Y, BeFunky.com. Um, they have a free version and a paid version. I uh, pay $6.99 a month for the pro version so that I can use everything, but you can still do a lot in the free version. And I'm going to be referencing that in posts on my fans page because it's just so easy to use if you're new. You can pull up this image here uh, um, in that and then just add on another graphic on top of it. Be Funky also has, this is not a sponsored post by them or anything. I pay for the service. I just, I just think that you guys might be interested in knowing what they offer, but they have a bunch of graphics on there as well. And you can just drag the graphic on top of it and you have a journal page. Use the text block and then write your favorite word like journal or create or inspiration or something like that. So it's endless what you can create and you can do it easily without having the learning curve of Photoshop. And I honestly, even though I've taken some uh, courses or classes or tutorials in Photoshop, and I've used Photoshop for years, I still go to Be Funky for a lot of things because of how user-friendly it is. And then I use um, Photoshop for either more advanced things or things that I'm just familiar with using Photoshop for. So that's another thing that I'm going to be doing a bunch of over on my fans page is just giving you some basic, simple instructions on how to make simple, simple digitals. So we're not necessarily going into all of what every single button does, but just a simple, you know, you can stick this on top of that. I think my post today, I was talking about PNG files and the transparent backgrounds and how you can just plop it over on top of something else. And I shared a PNG that I created that I think you guys will love. If you're familiar with my Canadian wildflower script journal cards, then it has something to do with that. So you might want to check it out. Occasionally I'm going to throw in a public post over there too. My first post is public, which means you don't have to join to um, read it or learn from it. So I want to make sure everybody gets something over there, even if they can't uh, pay for it. And I think it's just so cool to have something like Patreon for the craft community. Patreon has been too overwhelming for me. Um, I've considered starting a Patreon page. I've only ever, I think, supported one person on Patreon, and that was Jessica, um, I'm a cool mom back in the day. I think she just changed her name to Paper Terrace, which is beautiful. But back in the day when she was I'm a cool mom, I followed her on Patreon for a little while. And I considered having a Patreon page. It was just too overwhelming. But the people at Creative Fabrica, um, there's a sweet lady there, Valentina, that I, oh, I cannot tell you how amazing she is to work with and how much she encourages me, lays things out for me when I don't know what I'm doing. I was very overwhelmed with Creative Fabrica fans and dreading trying to put it together because I like, this is not going to work. I don't know what I'm doing. She was so helpful to step-by-step -step help me. And when I actually got in to set up the page, I was blown away at how easy it is, how beautiful the interface is, and... I can already start to see, um, they, they just started it today. It's just open to the public today. And I'm seeing other designers that I'm familiar with over there as well. Um, Busy May Designs. Oh, I love her stuff. Joanne and I use her um, digitals to create some of our Dreamy Design Club kits. I saw that she has a page over there. Marcy Coat. Um, she has a page over there. And I know more and more people will be joining 
that just a great way to support the craft community, support the artists that you love and that you want to be their fan. So I just so happy to have a one that's totally dedicated to two crafts. One left. This is so pretty. And if you are an advanced paper crafter, I apologize for how simple this project is, but I don't know. I just, sometimes the simple ones, they inspire me the most. It's like, oh, how come I hadn't thought about that? <laughs> and it's something that I can go grab materials for right away and start without having to take a trip to Hobby Lobby or, um, you know, put in a big order. <laughs> I saw a post, I think it was on, it might've been on one of the Tim Holtz groups. I'm not sure. Uh, this lady, I don't know her. I don't remember her name, but there was a lady that she placed a $700 order on Ranger. And I was like, so jealous. I was, oh my goodness. I bet she got the best stuff. $700. Wow. <laughs> anyway, that was just a funny story. Look at how pretty. I love them. Ugh, I don't want to get rid of them, but I want you guys to be able to purchase them. So I'm going to stick them over on my website. I hope that you will enjoy and be able to use them in your journals. I hope you have a fantastic day. Tomorrow should be another Marketplace journal video. And um, we have some gorgeous journals. We should be done uh, by the end of next week with the group two challenge or group one challenge journals. And we should be able to start on the group two. So make sure you get those journals into me. Uh, I need them in about the next